Um, hi. All right, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new here, my name is Nikki and this is my book nook. And guys, I had zero plans to make this video today, but I just got a very exciting package in the mail and I went to rip it open and I was like, you know what? Wait, hold on Nikki, this would be kind of a cute and fun idea to do for a video. What I have inside of this box is a brand new knickknack for my bookshelf. I have been collecting these for probably about two years now. I came across this shop on Etsy about two years ago called the Nook Knack Shop. And this girl, I now follow her on Instagram. We're friendly with one another. She is a massive Twilight fan and that is really what attracted me to her. But she makes all of these little creations that are just these tiny little things that are themed around different books, different series that you can just put on your bookshelf with your books. And when I first found her shop, I was just in love. I was floored. I just love just little things. I love little stuff. I'm also like a massive fangirl. So anything that's like subtle merch around books or TV shows, literally anything that I like, anything that's subtle and tiny where if you see it and you know, you know, but if not, it's just something cute to look at. Like I eat that shit up. So I loved her entire shop. I ordered several things from her and I still follow her to this day. And she just came out with a new nook knack that I literally screamed when I saw and I was like, you're coming home with me. So I ordered it and now I have it. And I just thought in this video, I would open this with you guys, but also just show you all the other little knickknacks that I have on my bookshelf because I just think it's fun. I just love reorganizing my bookshelf. I love having books on there, but also just like other little fun things. I am literally not exaggerating when I say that I reorganize my bookshelf every couple of weeks. Like anytime I get a new book, I feel like one shelf gets full. I want to shift things around. Sometimes I get bored. I want to organize by like author or I want to go more by like genre or vibe or like color coding. Like I have done everything under the sun. And so every time I reorganize, I kind of move my little nook knacks around and it's just a good time. So I just thought I would show you guys them today. I think first I will show you all of my nook knacks that I have gotten from the nook knack shop since we're going to be opening this one. And I will just like pick my camera up and bring you guys around. So no rhyme or reason to this. Let's go. So I feel like it's only natural that I show you my first ever nook knack that I got. And it's actually in my bedroom. It's not on my bookshelf because I have a lot of copies of Twilight. <laughs> so I have to kind of spread them across my house, across my apartment. But um, this was the first ever nook knack that I saw. And I'm going to need it to focus because... When I saw this pop up on my TikTok, my jaw hit the floor. As you might be able to tell, it is the meadow scene from Twilight. It pairs so perfectly with my Lit Joy special edition dust jackets, but this just literally is like what my dreams are made of. It is just this tiny little like piece of wood. It looks like it's like a piece of a tree branch and she has like this grass coming out of it. Come on, focus. I need you to see like all of the glitters. Look at that. It's got the little flowers from that. Out. There's definitely some cat hair mixed in there, but we're just like gonna ignore that. It is so beautiful. The little purple flowers, it is just exactly how I pictured the meadow scene in Twilight to be. And just, again, like what my dreams are made of. The sparkles, like this is the skin of a killer, Bella. It just goes so well with the aesthetic of Twilight. And this is still my favorite nook knack that I own. Like it is just my most prized possession when it comes to like my bookish merch. Like it just makes me so happy every single time I see it. And I didn't even mention this yet, but her shop specifically, so affordable. Like I think this was under $20. I think it might've even been like 15 bucks for this beautiful handmade little creation that is just like, I just feel like there's so much love and care put into it. And I also love when it's like a fan making fan merch. Like it just feels extra genuine and I don't know. I just love that piece. If I sit here and talk about each one of these for five minutes, we'll be here for a long time, but let's move on to the next ones. Okay, for the next one, we are moving over to another area of my apartment that you guys don't normally see. This is my extra little built-in bookshelves that I have over here in the corner. It's where I keep a lot of my fantasy books and it just fits so perfectly. I'm sorry, like how satisfying is this setup? Like all my Shadowhunter books, Akatar, Twilight, Harry Potter, like it just fits so perfectly. I'm like, y'all can't come out with any more books. <sighs> There's another book in that series. I don't own it yet, but whatever. We won't talk about it. Um, lots of little knickknacks going on here, but I do want to just start with this baby. I will bring it down in the light so you can see it better. Um, this is 
the willow scene from From Blood and Ash, which is why it is sitting up here by the series. If you look closely, we have a willow on again, a little slab of wood. You've got the grass. You've even got like little weeds sticking out of the grass because her attention to detail is so insane. You've got the bench under the tree and you have Poppy's veil with the little gold chain. This scene in From Blood and Ash altered my brain chemistry. Like there's no other way to say it. I was kicking and screaming during this scene. I just absolutely fell in love with From Blood and Ash. Like <laughs> It's one of the first books I reviewed on my YouTube channel and it's one that I still think about all the time. So just like seeing this scene brought to life and just something that I can stick here on my bookshelf, absolutely love it. It is so perfect, I'm just obsessed. But moving over here, I think a lot of you guys are gonna be really excited about this little baby. I'll just give you a second to take it in because you're probably gonna realize what it is if you're a fan of Akatar. Um, it is Feyre's dresser. If you remember in the books, she had a dresser that she would paint, and you find out later on that she's painting all of the courts, and then on top of them, it's got the little Akatar books, like the colors of the books sitting on the dresser. I mean, it's a real dresser. It has real drawers. Like, if you set it down, you can, like, take them out. I don't know what you would want to put inside, but you guys can probably think of something. I just think the, like, craftsmanship behind this is so beautiful. The little paintings are just exactly how I would picture them. I just love having this on my shelf next to the Akatar books. It really just like brings the whole scene together and it is just so cute. Okay, and while we're over here, I guess I'll just go over everything that I have on this shelf. First of all, we have my Shadowhunters print up here. We talked about how all my Shadowhunters books are right here. I got this print from this Etsy shop. It has the angelic rune on it, and the page inside is actually my favorite scene from the Infernal Devices series, which is just one of my favorite series of all time. It is actually the balcony scene from Clockwork Prince with Will and Tessa. It literally makes my heart explode, so I just love that. I love how it fits on the shelf. And then down here, we got a couple of pop figures going on. Obviously, we have our Edward Cullen pop figure on my Twilight books with the Juniper um, dust jackets. This is actually the sparkly Edward, and I don't know if you can tell. I think you can. Yeah, you see he's got the sparkles on him. It was like a special edition one from Hot Topic. Uh, absolutely love him. He just belongs here. I feel like this is a very Edward thing to just like sit on top of these books and like stare ominously out into the distance. And then um, we also have my Harry Potter platform at nine and three quarters pop figure situation right here. I love how it holds up the books. I love how it looks like he's like going inside of the story. Um, his head turns, like you got Hedwig, you got all of his stuff. Like I just love it so much. My best friend Leanne actually got this for me for my birthday, I don't know, a few years back now and I will never get rid of it. It's just so cute. And I guess speaking of Harry Potter, I have this Harry Potter undesirable number one daily profit little like dish towel right here that my friend Haley actually got me from um, Scotland, I believe is where she was. They were on some like Harry Potter tour situation and she got me this and I love it. It fits so perfectly right here. And then I've got my books down here when fate breaks. And then I have my collaboration with the Nerf Herder Co. She did candles and scents and wax melts that I have over here inspired by my book. And still it just like is one of my proudest accomplishments. I love these candles so much. So they're on display. And then my Slytherin sign, I got it from I think Goodwill actually. Um, over here, if you've, <laughs> this is so random. If you have watched Julie and the Phantoms, you might recognize what this is. This is my little Luke ghosty. He's kind of really dirty because my cats always knock him off of here, but um, love him so much. He makes me smile every single time I see him. If you don't know what Julie and the Phantoms is, it's a kid's show. Um, it's on Netflix. You need to go watch it. Kenny Ortega directed it. It's musical. It's just the greatest thing ever. All right, now we're moving over to the big boy, my main bookshelf. We're gonna go through every single thing that I have here. It's gonna be a lot, but let's just get started up here in the top left corner. First of all, the elephant in the room. I mean, truly, my Devil's Night Schools. Uh, Kill Switch isn't up here, by the way, because I'm still rereading it, taking my sweet time, so that's why it's missing. But 
my Devil's Night Skulls, my best friend Leanne actually painted these for me. They went absolutely viral on TikTok, so now she sells them on her Etsy shop. I will link it in the description, obviously, along with anything else that I can link. It'll be in the description, but she sells these. They are so perfect. Wills makes me scream every single time I see it. They're just so cute. They fit so perfectly on the books. They're nice and lightweight. They're just adorable. They fit perfectly. It's amazing. Um, over here, just jumping right into the shenanigans, I have this little... Uh, <laughs> Can I show this on YouTube? It's a little purple sparkly um, wiener that I got from this book signing that I went to. Some author was there giving them out and I said, you know what? That belongs on my Penelope Douglas shelf. So I just stuck it there. Moving down here, we have my hockey romance shelf. So obviously I need my Jamie Benn pop figure. I am from Dallas, massive Dallas Stars fan. So this is Jamie Benn, captain, my captain. And he's just sitting on top of this paperweight that I got from work. Um, it looks like ice, right? It actually works out perfectly, but he obviously just belongs here along with all of my fictional hockey boyfriends. So I love him. Continuing to move it down on my very small little like horror slash thriller section. I have this little guy, you might've missed him. Um, <laughs> He's a little raven stuffed animal that I actually got from Edgar Allan Poe's house whenever I was in Philadelphia. His house is open to the public. It's like a little museum you could go to. He is a super iconic horror author. And I don't know, I just like felt something in my soul visiting his house there. I felt like I felt his presence. It was like this weird little moment I had. So I was like, I'm gonna buy a little souvenir, bring it home and stick it on my shelf. So here's my little raven. Okay, now we are moving on to the middle shelf. And the first one that we have is this little guy right here. This is kind of like a random story, but my favorite movie, my favorite rom-com movie of all time is The Proposal with Sandra Bullock and Ryan Reynolds. Love it with my entire heart and soul. I watch it several times a year, but I was in Boston with my friend Haley and it happened to occur to us that the town that they filmed the proposal in, it's supposed to be Sitka, Alaska, but it's actually filmed in Rockport, Massachusetts. So we realized that was only like an hour from where we were in Boston and that we had some time to kill the next day. So we actually went and visited this town. Oh my God, I was obsessed with it. I felt like I was in the movie. I'm so happy that we did that. That actually ended up being like one of the best parts of our entire trip. And so I had to get this little um, like boathouse that's super iconic. You'll recognize it from the movie. It's in the town. And so I just got it and I stuck it over here by all my like summery rom-coms because I just feel like it fits. I just, I love this little thing. It always reminds me of my trip there and my favorite movie. Okay, now moving down, we have my Rick Riordan shelf and we have this little guy over here which has honestly seen better days, but my cats always pull this off the shelf and always play with it. I always catch them with it, so that's why it looks so rough, but um, not to get all sad and somber, but I actually got this at the 9-11 Memorial in New York City. It is a little replica of the Survivor Tree, which if you don't know, it was this tree that basically stayed standing during all of the 9-11 attacks and everything that was going on literally the buildings were falling down everything was on fire but this tree survived the attacks and is still there today so um really cool really sad but i just thought it was so beautiful like the tree and then also seeing this i thought it was really beautiful and i just wanted to own it and it kind of reminded me of the tree from the percy jackson series that is at the camp you know the tree that turns into talia spoiler alert if you didn't know that but um i don't know i just wanted to put it over here i thought it was cute and uh and then down here, this is kind of a miscellaneous shelf with a very miscellaneous uh, knickknack. I just have my BB-8 pop figure because um, I wanted him and I wasn't going to get rid of him when I moved and I didn't really have anywhere to put him, so he just hangs out right there. And while we're down here, I'll just move over to this shelf. I have this little hourglass that Entangled Teen actually sent me in a little PR box. It was for this book coming out. I think it was called Stealing Infinity. They sent this to me in a PR box and it's actually really cool. It's like this magnetic like hourglass so if you see the the sand falls and it like sticks to itself it's very cool it mesmerizes me and it fits perfectly right here on my kind of like sci-fi fantasy area shelf so it just stays there if y'all weren't aware before today I'm a massive Star Wars nerd and I absolutely love Kylo Ren with everything in me Adam Driver so 
Obviously, he had to live right here next to the love hypothesis because, as many of you know, um, <laughs> the love hypothesis is kind of, in one way or another, a uh, Raylo fan fiction. Allie Hazelwood is a massive Adam Driver fan, which is why his name is Dr. Adam Carlson. He's based on Adam Driver, so it only made sense that Kylo Ren made his place right here. This is not a nook knack on my bookshelf, but um, I just wanted to show you this little area right next to my bookshelf where I have one of my Harry Potter pop figures, Harry holding Hedwig. I have my Nikki's book nook candle that is also available from the Nerf Herder Co. It smells so good and I just love it sitting right here. It's so cute, it has my channel art on it. I just love it. Um, this is a picture of my dad uh, whenever he was in junior high. One of my favorite pictures ever. I had to have it framed and just sit right here. Like it just, it goes with the vibes. And then a little plant from Target. Um, nothing crazy. There's my sign from friends. I'm just giving you a whole apartment tour right now. I don't know what I'm doing. But I did want to show you guys what is up here. I have this in that was cut out of an old book. I got that at some like thrift store thing. They had it with like every single letter and number you could think of. I thought it was so cool and it just lives on top of my bookshelf now. And then I have this orange juice vase with baby's breath sticking out of it. Fake baby's breath, obviously. Ugh, I love baby's breath. It's very important to me. It has a lot to do with my book, When Fate Breaks. So that sitting up there, it just makes sense. And then I have this amazing sign that my sister actually painted for me for my birthday or Christmas. I can't even remember at this point, but it has all of my, like, not fictional, but just all of my favorite places from books and TV shows. You got Forks from Twilight, Hogwarts, obviously Harry Potter, Mystic Falls from Vampire Diaries, the New York Institute from Shadowhunters, Hawkins from Stranger Things, and then Thunder Bay from the Devil's Night series. So I just love this sign. It matches my apartment perfectly. My sister did such a good job on it. Like Ray Dunn, who I've never heard of him. I love it. Well, now that we've been through all of that, I'm honestly sitting here kind of like out of breath and sweating from walking around my apartment and showing you guys all that stuff and talking so much. Like that's kind of sad, but I guess that's where we are in life. Um, I wanna open my new Nook Knack with you guys. And if I didn't say this already, I'm going to link her shop in the description down below. Go check her out. I'll also link her Instagram because she sells out of stuff. She posts stuff and sometimes it sells really fast, but she's really good about restocking. She always like keeps you super updated with what's currently in her shop. So if she's sold out of anything that you want on Etsy or even just regardless, I recommend following her on Instagram because that's where you'll get all the updates about what's to come. I just love her shop. I think that she puts so much work into it. And I just think her stuff is so high quality and it's just like hard to come by stuff like that. I feel like nowadays especially like people just don't put in the effort and the love into stuff that they used to and She's one of those people and I'm so excited to open this. Oh my gosh, look how carefully she packaged this. Literally, it's a box inside of a box that's taped down. It has tissue paper, like this was not getting damaged at all. And she's done that with every single thing I've ordered from her. It's always packaged with so much love and oh my God, you guys. I'm not trying to be dramatic, but this is just, oh my God, this is a big one. This is bigger than anything that I've gotten from her. Are y'all ready? I'm gonna tell you that it's Harry Potter related. So if I haven't talked about it on my channel, I feel like I have, but Harry Potter is like a massive part of my entire life. It's what my little lightning bolt is for. If you've ever wondered that, I even have a lightning bolt in my channel art. Like Harry Potter started my love of fantasy and just reading in general. I read it for the first time whenever I was in the second grade. Read it probably 10 times over at this point. I just adore Harry Potter, I always will. So anyways, this is what we have says, here lies Dobby, a free elf. Honestly, why did I buy this? Because now I'm sad. And if you'll see, it has his little sock. It has his little sock on his gravestone. <laughs> his little sock is hanging off the gravestone. I want to go cry. It's so cute. It's so well done. I'm upset. Let's honestly just, I'm going off the rails now. Let's go and put it on my shelf. I'm going to obviously put it in my little Harry Potter area over here. Like, where is it going to go? I don't know. Maybe for now, like, I'll just put it right here and then I'll play with it. I kind of like that, honestly. We got Edward. We got Tommy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Should I go right here? I don't know, what do y'all think? See, this is what's gonna happen. I'm now gonna feel the need to rearrange my entire Harry Potter, like, 
this entire shelf is gonna get rearranged and then stuff will end up going over to those bookshelves and then it's just gonna be a whole thing so I'm gonna leave this here for now now I'm like should I make these books vertical and stick it there probably not um, I think he can chill there. Oh my god, it's so cute. Now I have three Nook Knack Shop little treasures on this shelf. This is so, like, it's so much bigger than the other stuff, but it's so well made, and I think it's so perfect. I love it. I love it so much. It is so cute. But yeah, guys, that is it for me today. This was a super random video that I just decided to make about 15 minutes ago. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found it fun. Um, I love you guys so much. If you have any other like random video ideas that you would like for me to do, I'm always down to switch it up. I feel like I kind of like do the same kind of stuff on my channel all the time, which I love it. I love my book reviews. I love my monthly wrap ups. I love my recommendations, all the things. But like, if you guys want me to do any sort of challenges or tags or like talking about anything specific i'm down to clown i'm down to try it out so just let me know what you guys want but yeah thank you so much for watching and i will talk to you very soon